and good morning. Well, I enjoyed my extra hour, even though I stayed up an extra hour late last night. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have probably been starting around 3.33 instead of 4.44. Anyway. Yes, I do. I, I didn't think of that till just now. I do want to, before I actually start today's video, I do want to make a, a, a comment in regard to my son-in-law and daughter and the auto accident that occurred on Thursday evening. The car was will cost about six thousand dollars to get fixed. It's their only vehicle and it really is creating a financial hardship for them since he needs a car to get back and forth to work and earn money and I wish I just could buy them a new car or uh, get them a loaner car or something and they could get this this one fixed because it's worth about ten thousand dollars still uh, it's a it's a good vehicle uh, it has a anyway I don't I don't want to go into the details but if any of you feel so impressed I don't ask money for myself because I'm fine but I would like to be able to help them in a in a more substantial way so if anyone wants to donate any money toward them getting their car fixed, I'd really appreciate it. And I don't, you know, those of you that listen know I, I never mention money, or almost never. Uh, but I'm making an exception uh, to help someone else in this case. And I'm not going to do that for everybody, so don't, I don't want, do not want to make this a platform for that type of thing, and I probably will not mention it again. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say on that. The title that I've selected for this morning is Obama, Romney, or Neither, the U.S. Selection Process. To me, it's a misnomer to call what may happen next Tuesday an election. I gave up voting in the last presidential selection when I finally realized that what we call elections are fixed and predetermined. Of course there may be some good alternatives on the ballot in most states, but they are irrelevant, unfortunately. Those that control the matrix will not allow any choices that could lead to significant change in U.S. and global politics. I'm even watching a process in the Republic movement to elect a new president and vice president. Today, I will share my opinions and perspectives in this area that many spiritual people try to avoid. Yes, indeed, there may not be an election <laughs> on this coming Tuesday in the normal sense. They're talking about delaying the election in the Northeast where the where Sandy wrecked such havoc and devastation to allow people more time to vote. There are indications that martial law is being employed in that area. People are actually being uh, forcibly removed from their homes. I've read reports and uh, there have long been, even before Sandy hit, there had long been the suggestion that Obama would try to do something to uh, create martial law and, and have a dele the election process declared null and void. I don't think that that's going to actually happen, but I don't know. I do believe that the people that are in charge are desperate to maintain their control in the face of the mass awakening that is occurring around the world. And yes, the presidential election, as it's called, does affect the entire world because the United States is the terrorist nation that thinks it has the right to steal the resources and to impose its will anywhere on the planet, wherever it can. And it does make that attempt all over the planet. Uh, the people that run the United States government, of course, are the Fed, uh, are part of the Federal Reserve and the International Banking Coalition, if you will, which they don't call it that, but I'm calling it that at this moment. 
They are the cabal that, that operate the matrix, that do the Bilderbergers thing and the Council on Foreign Relations and all of the other societies that used to be secret, but they're not so secret anymore because of the internet, because of people sounding the alarm and, and uh, waking people up to the fact of what's going on uh, behind closed doors it used to be, but it's no longer quite so secretive because people are becoming aware. So I don't know if there's going to be an election or not. It will be interesting to see. Uh, to me, it almost doesn't matter which one of them gets elected. Uh, if they can continue to maintain control, and they being the, the establishment, if they can continue to maintain control, which they apparently can, whichever one of the two main party candidates get elected, there's going to, it's going to be worse. Obama has not done hardly anything good, and I know there's people that are going to argue with me about that because so many of the channeled messages and stuff say that Obama is one of the good guys, and he's here to fix things and make things right and give us change that we can believe in. But you can keep the change that he's given us so far because he has done he has created more executive orders than all of the presidents preceding him and many of them are very dictatorial in nature that will not cut the mustard not for the changes that I and most people want to see in the world which is to create peace on earth and stop the insanity of the financial institutions stealing our wealth and creating debt instruments that create a false money system that will never work, it's never going to be sustainable, and the religions that that commit crimes against humanity by their people that are of the cloth, by doing the pedophilia and stuff like that that's rampant in the Catholic Church, and of course Romney, he's a, he's a Mormon. Now the Mormons, maybe you don't know this, the, the, the wealthiest religious institution on earth is the Catholic Church or the Vatican, and the second wealthiest church or religious organization on the planet is Mormons. Yes, that's what Romney is. He's a Mormon. Now, if, if I had to choose between the lesser of two evils, Obama or Romney, I would choose Obama and the Democrats over the Republicans. The Republicans, to me, maintain the status quo of the financial institutions but the Democrats aren't far behind them in that same thing. They just have a little bit different emphasis, but that's just to give the illusion of an actual choice. There is no actual choice if we allow the moneyed interests to still maintain control of the matrix. That has to be changed. And what it's going to take to change it, I'm not exactly sure. As I said in the blurb, I stopped voting uh, in the presidential elections last time, of course, since then, in, in 2010, I actually became uh, expatriated. I became a non-citizen of the corporation known as the United States of America. I'm not a citizen of that. I have to interact with them because that's the nature of the world that I live in. Uh, I'm, I'm participating in it to the extent that I need to, uh, but I'm not part of that system not intellectually, not emotionally, not spiritually. I'm not part of that world, though I have to, as I said, interact with it because I have to. Uh, I am being forced to against my will, but I'm holding my own in that battle, as those of you that follow my court stuff realize. Anyway, uh, when I voted for Cynthia McKinney, a black woman in the last election, in the place where I live, there's a whole bunch of people that I knew that voted for her, and yet she got zero votes, according to the to the local newspaper here. She didn't get any votes, or some say, well, she got less than half of a percent. Be that as it may, I know from the previous two elections to the last one, the person who won did not win. George Bush stole both of his elections. I do not believe the last election was stolen by Obama. I do believe he actually won the popular vote. But it's irrelevant because whichever party, Democrat or Republican, wins, the people lose. And that's the way I see it, and that's why I will not even waste my time voting in a process that has no relevance 
or validity as I see it. Now, as I also said in the blurb, uh, there is a process to elect a president and a vice president going on right now uh, in Yerusa, the Republic for the United States of America. I did attend the meeting yesterday. I'm still Secretary of State, but even as I publicly declared in our meeting yesterday, it's I'm not real pleased with the Bible-thumping, uh, theocracy-pushing agenda of many in the Republic. Uh, and there's one of our own uh, people who announced that he is running for president. I will not support him. I think he's a good guy, but he's he's one of the theocracy crowd. And I cannot support anybody that's trying to make a republic in the United States a Christian republic or a Bible-based republic. Now, I had people come to me and say, Ron, we've you know we've got to stop the de facto we've got to we've got to get our foot in the door and to become recognized and established and please don't don't nitpick over this this issue of having the bible as the law form which they said they were going to stop doing and they did take it i guess although i didn't see the document uh, they did take it off the front page of the document that people have to sign but, I, but they still have it on the back of the definitions that the Bible is the word of God, which it isn't, and uh, that the Bible is, is part of our law, law form, which it cannot be. I cannot support that. But I've also heard, and I, and I do believe, that the Republic is opening the doors for people that have not been in the Republic, like Rod Class, for example. And those of you that Google Rod Class, you will know that that he is very, very active and has won a lot of legal battles in the current system, exposing the, the problems and the lies uh, that have been going on. And by the way, the whole election thing is nothing but a sham. It's a lie because the voting machines, many of them, if not most of them, are rigged and can be fixed easily with backdoor uh, capabilities of of switching votes within the machine and there's no paper trail to even go back and double check them. So the whole election process is a sham and a lie. But anyway, uh, Rod Class has been exposing that and uh, certainly if he was on the ballot, he would be one of the candidates that I would seriously consider because I do believe he's a, he's a man of integrity uh, in the times that I've actually heard him speak. I do believe he speaks with a, a great deal of integrity, and I would like to see someone like that, or like Ron Paul, or like Dennis Kucinich at the helm that could bring positive change. Obama has done nothing in his four years that I can see as positive change, and I know I get a lot of people that are going to be mad at me for saying that. Well, that's your perception, and you're allowed to have it. This is my perception bring forth fruits that, that meet for repentance, bring forth fruits that I can examine and look at. And he has not done anything good that I can see as far as changing the matrix from what it had always been to something that I would like to see that can create peace on earth. In fact, the military, and I do believe this is true, the military are far in support of unseating Obama because of the hypocrisy of his message. Uh, he has increased war in Afghanistan and he has not supported our troops and there's been some things that have been done by the Obama administration that are abominable. <laughs> not good. So I'm going out on a limb once again and saying you know to the Galactic Federation people that say that Obama is their man, well then start having him do things that, that bring forth uh, a government that looks like it's on the people's side and looks like it's willing to tell the truth because I haven't seen it. And if I don't see it, then it's, then, you know, it's hard for me to get to behind it and support it. I pray for Obama. I used to pray for Bush when he was president. I still pray for the Bushes. I still pray for the people that seem to be leading the dark agenda. I still pray for them because I still see them as part of us in the respect that we are all children of God. 
I haven't stopped that. But it's still, the, the game in the Matrix still appears to be an us versus them thing. And I'd like to be able to rise above that and only see us. But we, us, we are playing a game. And if we keep playing that game, there's not going to be any change. How we can go from where we've been and where we still seem to be to where we need to go, that is to seeing that we are all interconnected, to actually being able to love one another and to bring peace on earth. I don't see how that's going to happen yet. I do believe in my heart that that is what will happen and that that change is in the works. It's being cosmically implemented. I do believe that. I do believe our galactic brothers and sisters are and will continue to be involved in stopping World War III from occurring and stopping the use of nuclear weapons on a widespread basis. I do believe all of that, but I still want to see geopolitical changes and changes in the economic world that are going to serve the highest and best interest of all the people and stop the system as we have known it. I've taken the red pill and I've seen how far down the rabbit hill the, the rabbit hole it all goes and it's not a pretty picture what I see there is a conspiracy there's always been a conspiracy for a long 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 time and that has to end and it is ending I do believe that how this election will not have any impact I don't believe on how that battle goes it doesn't matter which one of the two gets in it will be the same old, same old, and business as usual. The status quo will be maintained if either Romney or Obama remains as president. And that's not, to me, the answer that's going to resolve anything in the issue toward freedom for everyone and true peace for all citizens of the world. Thank you for listening to my opinion. And if you want to share it, you're welcome to do so. And I'm really glad that Google finally got their act together yesterday with YouTube and Gmail and, and whatnot and allowed the two-way communication. It took me the longest yesterday to, than, than ever to get my video up, on, up online. That's all I'm going to say for today. I actually said more than I needed to, probably. But again, thank you for listening and namaste. <laughs>